today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. And no way back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out two to twenty-five. Here is Tua Tagovailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. For all the future success he had, highest passer efficiency rating by a mile. He's a guy who's had his share of detractors at the professional level, but I do like his poise, I do like his moxie, and I love his accuracy. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Calling no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they're behind schedule or two miss, but that window closed quickly. for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. That'll be a 41-yard punt, 40 yards there on the return. And the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a high trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Now they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spy. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. A pass dropped off here for James White. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A lot of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the Yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run it here. This is James White. And they get inside the 10 at the 8. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get up field to get to what we call the second and the third. Gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. To try again after the sack. Jones. And this is caught at the eight. A ten yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. Hardy sold the goal route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. TVs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that really is. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up. a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points right in their hip pocket. They had those. Now those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. That's what you call a rookie mistake. Off the of play action. Tongue of Iloa. Looking deep downfield. Dragon. 
the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Absolutely have to credit the pass protection there on third down because he had all sorts of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through his progressions, and you just have to know that sooner or later, someone's going to work his way open if you don't get to it. Make sure those guys Second and nine. Going to the air. Tug of the ball. The swing complete to Jalen Waddle. That catch for five. It's third down. He decided to run a hitch track. It really helped out a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he right put one in there on that one. That was not out the catch. It worked very well. And this pass broke the ball. The contact. Well timed there. And now four. Sending this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He does it crossed out of bounds at the 16 yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. him with a second and three. Now Jones. That's Myers. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 41 yard line. And a partner that blocked in man coverage out left and ended up running across and route. Routed it a little bit more than a slant. He just got to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that. So now first and 10 as they crossed into Miami territory at the 41. It brings it inside the 35. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They hand this off to Harris. And he puts it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the Touchdown, that's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge. That will take it. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Nick Folk for the point after. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Waddle 
Franklin's going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Tua. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything in the coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Tua to try again on second down. That's Waddle on the quick slant. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. The Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. Mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Now a play fake here on first down. It's blocked by Harris. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or it runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped it. Direction really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way from the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard down to the 31. On second and nine, Jones. Simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's going to be brought down. Will be the final play of this first quarter. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. Second down and four. We'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. 
Coach used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. From the 31, Tua. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. that don't normally press, you put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker, make that help them as they head to the half. And that is incomplete. Uh, coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. sends this one away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Over the middle, complete. It's right. Just talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to look downfield for Henry. Got me. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. On the delay, here's Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Full connection. time a six play drive and it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run Waddle is going to let not bring this out and instead his guys will begin at the 25 yard line the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and some dangerous territory You're already down three scores a three and out here or an inability to put any points up you also have to guard against is 
calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Yeah, he gets this deep in the Patriot territory. It's a big play there for Miami for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to tap right here on this play. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. On the handoff, it's Gaston. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no game that time, and now it's third and goal. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and goal. Two are going to throw. down to a departs and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit from the left hash a chip shot here Sanders kick is good and the Dolphins are going to be forced to settle for three so a long drive gets him down inside the five but ultimately they settle for just the field goal and I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer that would have made their decision tougher and I think they likely would have gone for it but in this situation, they just decided to take the three. And I think it was a smart move. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out of the field. 92 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. A give to Harris. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Looking for White on the deep ball. Into a double team. It's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And they'll start out with great field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the left. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. He'll buy some time right. Second, it brings. 
backs up second. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. run slam route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off. You know, well now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. It's and now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Three sacks in this first half, now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way it was not working. He was getting hit almost every step of the belt line. They had to try to keep him upright. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. To throw again on second down, Jones. a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. This is Harris. Down inside the 15, shot of the 10. Seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And folks, kick is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24 to 3. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet. But there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time. As we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. The Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. And following that punt, which turned out as well as it possibly could have, this offense has 99 yards to go to the other end zone. And defense is frothing at the mouth with a chance to get points themselves. If they tackle a runner in the end zone, safety. If there's a holding call in the end zone, that's also safety as well. So either way you decide to go on offense, you've got to be careful. So a decent 
gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. On the ground, it's Harris. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. So if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Again, it's Harris on second down. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. On second down. It's light. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the stick so to speak, they need to make up some time. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. To me, the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Complete on the deep ball. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now, boy, the ball. They'll start to drive with Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. From the 29, Jones. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jalen Phillips showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Jones to throw on third down. This one to board, and he's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Throwing again on second down. Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 41-yard line. They run with Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it's only a three-yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that field I'm like okay i can stand up when the going gets tough in here and that's pretty solid linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete first down marker at the 31 it's third down they'll run with harris Been terrific here this afternoon. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, they had all that hitting and hollering. It was a four yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the ball shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 
you see passes knocked down by those guys that call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball throw, and react to it very quickly. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five and six. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This is Harris. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field. the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole they'll wind up losing three and now it's third down off play action Jones It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. of all those 
old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to line up now. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be caught. Three touchdown. Kendrick Ford there to make the grab. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Kick it away after the touchdown. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten, just outside the 30. Now Harris, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw, Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. Big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line. Well short first down marker. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Waddle is going to let him not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Now we'll see what the big tight end. second down play. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They'll try to run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be stopped up at the 47-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second. 
second timeout as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The fullback dive held up short. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, two is thrown, taken in here by Fuller. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Tua. Finding Gaskin underneath. He's taken down inside the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Tua. It's complete to Fuller. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Tua to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Clock now under 30 ticks and running. Tua. And a throw here, that's complete. And the Dolphins are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Tug of Iloa. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if you're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, you have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. And the Patriots are going to recover, and that should just about assure victory. Well, fourth quarter. into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80 percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdote we score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They run the counter. Harris. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win. It's one of the they can't help but feel great about themselves, can they?